When the children look up at the night sky, I want them to think about space exploration. I want them to consider that they might be the generation that have an opportunity to go into space. Meet Bjarke. My name is Bjarke Gottfriedsen. I'm the founder and CEO of Exonabox. Exonabox is a company that developed all electronics components, mainly for the Internet of Things industry, all the way down to educational industry. Basically, he's a tinkerer, and he and his colleagues have cobbled together this simple set of sensors that will help these kids. I'm Angelique Suarez, daughter of that, traveling in the Get a lot closer to space. That's possible because, well, Bjarka, you tell them. We purchased the first privately owned uh, satellite in Africa. And we did that with the goal of having high school students uh, being able to build satellites. Okay, so here's how it works. The students get their hands on Bjarka's X in a box sensors, those ones, which give real-time readings on things like temperature, humidity, and UV light levels. Then they're built into Bjarka's satellite, which is loaded onto a rocket like this, and then they're sent into lower Earth orbit. We have stage one separation. Cool, right? Pretty cool. These little things are just going to be in space, recording everything we don't know about. What is it like up there where we never been before? And it's really cool because we will get to see that. So just like that, a bunch of kids in South Africa will be operating their own classroom ground control, playing with data taken straight from outer space. And that's all part of Bjarka's plan. Space is exciting, it's interesting, it's uh, that place we look in a, on a night when we look up in the stars. And for a lot of kids in Africa, having an opportunity to be included in the space industry is that dream that might take them to just study science, technology, engineering, or math in general. Huh, that's clever. Wonder if it's working. Thinking of doing medicine. Plan on studying for about uh, 7 to 12 years to become a neurologist. One day I would actually want to work with these things because they are just so interesting. Technology and math and science and engineering has made all of what we are now possible. And that's why it's important. <laughs>